one industry dominates an area. Somebody stands up and says, hey, that's not right. You get ground up. But that's how it works around here. In the 1880s, coal is this miracle fuel that was inexpensive and abundant. And it led to our emergence as the leading industrial country around the world. And coal became king. Houses pop up around coal mines. You know, years ago they called them coal camps. But the coal company still got you by the ass. If you're a coal miner at a Massey mine, it was the very much of a boss-directed culture, with the boss being Don Blankenship. You have so much industrial influence over the politics. And if a few hillbillies get killed in the name of progress, so be it. That's the way it works. Let me state for the record, Massey does not place profits over safety. We never have and we never will, period. Some miners were blown to smithereens. Other miners were asphyxiated. 29 men are now dead. 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 Do you know how many fatalities there have been at Massey Energy Company mines since 2000? No, not exactly. These miners should possess the right to say, kiss my ass. One man says, hey, that's my job. The other person says, but that's our community, that's our water. I mean, it's tough to find a balance in an extraction state. We're the mountains. We're, we're not the extraction state, we're the mountains. But state. we're the extraction. I remember growing up to the song, Coal is West Virginia. Well, what's West Virginia when the coal's gone? What's West Virginia then?